This week we'll be covering how to add lesson content to Angel courses. Uh, I'm going to run through it fairly quickly in the video format and then we'll also have a step-by-step -step text version too. So just watch this video first. Um, maybe not if you're new to, to doing this, maybe not with the intent of uh, learning everything you need to know from this, this first video, but this is just sort of a beginning introduction and then we'll go through it again at a slower pace in the step-by-step uh, -step guide. But to go into a course I uh, go to the lessons area and I hit add content and then I can choose from different lesson content types here like folders or pages. Uh, I can also copy things from other courses which we'll get to later. But I'm going to uh, go through the process of uh, setting up this lesson content in Angel 7.3. Adding lesson content in Angel is a relatively straightforward process. Entering the course, go to the Lessons tab, and this is where you can add content. There's an Add Content link. So you're going to go to the place in, in the Lessons content where you want the content to be, and then hit Add Content. It's to, this week we'll be covering uh, five different content types, all of which are available from that Add Content link. First one being a folder. It's common in Angel to organize your course content into folders, either by lessons or weeks or by subject area, but rather than having all of your content listed in one big jumble in the lessons area, people put it in folders. So if I make a, a folder, I can call it whatever I want to. I can give it a, a custom uh, icon if I want to. If not, it will just have a little folder icon. I can do things like uh, set who can see it, and when it's available, uh, who can edit it, uh, is it going to be tracked, who gets into it. Um, I can also make that folder be associated with the gradebook as an assignment. But if I do pretty much nothing else besides just give it a name and hit save, voila, now I'm inside the week one folder. So if I click on the lessons area, I see the week one folder. And inside the folder, I'd like to create a page, just something that people are going to read. So if I click Add Content again, and then I scroll down to where I see Page. There it is. And I have a, a very similar window to the one when I was creating the folder. Uh, I can give that, uh, that page a name control who can see it, who's going to be tracked. Now notice in the user tracking, because I had tracking set for everyone for the folder, by default, everything that I create inside that folder will also be tracked. I can uh, just type text in, or if you know, I could cut and paste, copy and paste text in from um, a Word document or someplace else. Hit save. Also, I could create a link to another website. So if I wanted to, to do that, I'd hit Add Content, Add a Link, and I'll, I'll give it a name. And then down below, I can uh, put in the actual web link here. I can also control how the link will display. If I want it to display inside the content, right inside Angel, so I still have all the, the links and everything, I could do the same window. If I want it to launch in a new window, pop up in a new window, I could do that. Or I could select No Banner, which will launch the link in without having the uh, tabs along the top and all that. So, But if I undo that, hit Save, I now have a page. I have a link. Now if I wanted this to launch in a separate window, I could go back to the settings for the link and scroll down and change it from same window to new window. Save it. And now when I go into the week one folder and I click on that, it will launch as a new window. Which is kind of nice if you want the student to um, to have that launched and then also be doing something in Angel, you know, looking at a web page and then entering into a t entering text into a discussion forum or something like that. All right, so I've got folders, pages, and links. 
The next item that I'm going to add is a Dropbox. This is a way to collect assignments from students. Again, I can choose things like who can access the Dropbox when it's available, um, how many times can people submit to it, are, are they able to put attachments on it, is there a message box? A message box is a way for somebody to give you a message along with their assignment. So it's, it's sort of uh, like a post-it note, I guess. I hit save. Okay, so now I have a week one essay. So when the student comes here, they can click on it to create a Dropbox submission. Give it a message here. And then I can attach a file to it. So I would go to Browse, go to Find the File. Let's say that this, this file here is the one that I need to attach. I can upload that and submit my attach or submit my Dropbox submission there, and it tells me I'm okay, I'm successful. Okay, so the instructor when the instructor comes along and sees that that Dropbox, they can let's see if I go here, I go into the Week One folder and I go to the Week One Dropbox there and open it. I see there's a Dropbox submission from Scott Dennis. I click on that, and I can open the attachment, give it a grade, put a comment for Scott, and hit OK. And if I'd set gradebook settings for the discussion forum, that grade will automatically be entered into the gradebook. To do that, I would, well, we'll cover that later. And then the last piece of uh, content, lesson content I want to add this week is a discussion forum. Okay, so now I have a very basic set of, of items here. It's just sort of the, the quick run through. Uh, I'll uh, say once again that the discussion forums have changed quite a bit between 7.1 and 7.3. So if you're uh, used to uh, creating discussion forums in the older version of Angel, you probably want to spend some time seeing what's new here.